Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been criticized for trying to have their cake and eat it, as the royal couple reportedly plans to hold Archie Harrison's christening behind closed doors. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have faced scrutiny after reports the Duke and Duchesses of Sussex want to hold Archie's christening privately. It comes just days after the pair accepted £2.4 million from the public offers to renovate the royal couple's home Frogmore Cottage. Royal insiders believe the ceremony for Meghan and Prince Harry's firstborn is set to take place on July 6, at St George's Chapel in Windsor, where they married last year. Speaking on Good Morning Britain, host Piers Morgan blasted the decision claiming it was hypocrisy from the couple. He said, on the one hand they want privacy, on the other, they want their cake and eat it. They want public money to support and finance their glorious extension and refurbishment of their home. But they don't want the public to have any free and unfettered access to what traditionally royals have usually stumped up with, which is a nice christening and pictures with it. He later added, I think the problem I have with all of this, hypocrisy is always the problem with the royals. It looked like they are trying to have their cake and eat. The public very quickly will get annoyed by it. Here, it is the fact that ever since the baby was born, Harry has, I think it is driven by Harry more than Meghan probably has been on a pathological interest to thwart the media. We weren't allowed to know where it was born when it was born. We still don't know basic fundamental facts about this child. Yet, the public is supposed to be quite happy to ignore all that and pay up for their refurbishment. Duncan Larcom, a former royal editor at The Sun, also criticized the couple, claiming there is a huge public desire to see baby Archie on his christening. He said, I think the danger here is Prince Harry has always talked about his accident of birth. He is now a father, but whether he likes it or not, Archie has had the same accident of birth. Trying to be protective like a father, I understand that. But he is a member of the royal family, but like it or loathe it there is a huge public desire to see baby Archie on his christening. Why couldn't he do what most members of the royal family have done and had a nice crowd of well-wishers, you cannot hide away a baby that is funded by the taxpayer. But, speaking during the debate Viscountess Hinchinbrook defended the couple, suggesting Meghan and Prince Harry needed to be assessed differently now, because of the birth of baby Archie. She said, I think it is now involving a baby, so I think we have to look at it a little bit differently. I am a parent of four, I understand, not having your children in the public eye, and I think we know everything that happened to Harry. They are in the public eye, we saw them at the New York Yankees game, they are coming out. But, it is regarding a baby now. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge allowed cameras at all three christenings for Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. Last week royal accounts revealed £2.4 million has been spent in renovations to Harry and Meghan's new five-bedroom home and has exceeded earlier unofficial estimates that taxpayers would be asked to stump up around £1.5 million of the then-forecast total cost of £3 million. The work is not finished yet. The couple has been given planning permission to paint the exterior of the Grade 2 listed house this summer at the expense of the taxpayer and to landscape the gardens out of their own pockets. Frogmore Cottage, a gift from the Queen, is owned by the Crown Estate but Harry and Meghan pay no rent or lease charges under the terms of an agreement between the estate and the royal household. <laughs>